friend, thank you so much for coming. I'm Sunday, and in this filming right in here, I want to show you my smart and accurate way of which I make my brogues on my shoe. Okay, brogues is not a general thing, and which every classic man wants on their shoe. So, for you to make a worst, wonderful class and, and a full official shoe, you have to start a, a, a good craft out, have a good idea on how you can align your brogues on your shoe. Brogues comes on your derby, your oxford, comes on your monks, comes on your... To do that, the holes in there have to be accurate. So how will you get to get it accurate though? That is why I will be showing you how I make my brogues maker. Okay, in here, this brogues maker I have a... Uh, I got it on a eBay. I first started it on an eBay, and at the part, at the time that I got this, I got I got the price for three thirty five US dollar, and then um, shipping it down to Nigeria is going to cost around that thirty five thirty US dollar. So in the apartment, it's going to be a sixty five US dollar to get this out and what this is going to do for me is that this is going to make this has been glued together the holes i want on it as it's going to it has been stick together and that means that it's going to give an even spacing it's going to give an even spacing it's going to give an even space so the even spacing is what makes this very very important so at a time that you have to work on your brogues you need something very very even you need your holes to be even in there so so coming up in here you gotta see this is the two thing and i have here 1.5 mm o perforator and i if and traditionally at the absence of any tools these are you gonna do it you're just gonna use the holes in here and man pressure okay the two comes out in there and then you drop this back again and you pick this the bigger one of it and if you decide to use this bigger one and you can decide to use it's not so big as this but this is just the shape it has to come you bring pick this and then okay you come back again because you want it to go zig zag the big one zig zag the big one you come back again is this point and you do this okay you guys do that and you come back again in here okay you do that you come back again okay right now i've been able to do this in here this is for me uh, it's gonna, for you, you're going to look like, oh, this is accurate. I was able to get it evenly, but this is not even. The spacing on these holes are not even. The gaps between the big ones and the, the two eyes that goes in and the smaller ones are not even. So to make this even, and not just making it even, but make it very, very fast to make, uh, this broke very fast. We can see how long it took me to work on this. I had to work on this pump, perfect this. Drop that one, pick this up, perforate this again, drop that one, pick this tiny one, perforate this again, which is not smart for me. It's not so fast, so that's why I come across the tools and I found it very interesting to work on. So what I just do is, is that I pick that same set of two holes and I go to my welder to just drop a bit of, just join this together, join this together, join together, join this, join this together, and click it all together and mix the three all together bound bound with uh, with an electron bound it all together but at the price of me doing it i make sure that this tip in here the three tips are evenly balanced so at the time i mark pressure on one the three sets of the holes are perforating ones and not just that i make sure that the exit of all this where the o, the the particle is going to exit, what the waste I at which I got out of it is going to exit is facing out. So those are the things I consider. At the time I put in condition, I now realize that it makes it very smart, and I got a good replicant of a 650 USLR perforator I saw on eBay. So come to see how smart this works right now. 
as this has been connected together, it just come in here and you can get to see how this works. One, two makes one, two may get me those two holes very fast. And I come here again. So what this is doing is that this is going to make the work very, very fast. I can see this fast speed at which I'm moving on with it very fast. You can see just right in here right now, I've been able to attain this point. It's going to be making the work so very fast because I've been able to put three awesome holes together at once. So at a, at a point, I have a pressure on it. It's going to give me three holes. So it's going to be very fast, very fast. And then the spacing in between this is accurate. The spacing in between is accurate. That means it's going to also give me an accurate spacing in between this. This is going to be so accurate. So that is just see. So that is how, and this is that is so that is how it works. And this putting all this together is what I want to show you, and that is not compulsory. If you want to work on a low budget perforator, this is. This is good for you. This is good for you. It's going to get the same thing at which the, the, the 65 years old perforator, not even the money right this time, but delivering it the time at which it's going to deliver it. Right in here, just need to work. You just need to walk into your leather store and grab this and just next minute take it to a weatherman to just drop his electron on this and then it glues all together and you get this. Apart from that, at the time you cannot go, you're not close to your weather, there's another way I think you can do it far, far easier and also cheaper. So this me, I prefer it because I do a lot of perforating in the workshop, works on a lot of broke, so with a lot of perforation in the workshop, so this is good. But at the absence of you not close to any weatherman, the next thing you can do, another thing you can do is to just come over in here and then you have these three all together. These are the three O's. You have it all together and you have this. This is a clip for O's. You can just use it to clip your O's for not to have an escape. Uh, this, this is it. So you can come and put that in this. You can see I put it in there and I pick your driver and then you drive it up. So you come in here to just Screw this up, you knot it, knot it down. Okay, can I see what I'm doing in here? I just band this all together, I band it up together, just band this all together, banding it very tight, out of very tight. Okay. So, why I've bound this up together? You can see this. This is quite easy to fix. I've bound this all together. And with this, it's going to be so easy to work on my brooks. It's going to have bound it. Make sure it's really tight and very tight. Okay. Okay. Very, very tight. It's good. Okay. So now it's very tight. So this same thing I do in here, this do for me. This, this same thing this does, this can also do it right now. So what I'm going to do is to come in here, come on, give it a try. And then come in here. Since the three is bound together, you can come in here to do this, you can see. Okay. Okay. So 
So right in there, you can see what I've done in there. This was the one I did with a single, uh, when the holes were separated, this was the one I did with the Agon wedding, wedding, the one that I got together, okay? And this was the one, and this very one is the one I bound with, with the bounding clip. Okay, bound it up together, have it an even tip. The tips have uh, is balancing there, and same time, um, when I eat it, it I eat it out even in there. So this is it. As you can see, how smart you can walk on. This you see, this is far cheaper than this. So uh, uh, as it is right, now, I can say that this is quite easy. At the same time, too, this is awesome, cool. So the, if you have uh, the way. Uh, uh, I am welcome man around you I can just tell him to just give you a um argon uh, wedding on the three bonded all together and if you can you're not close to it and you want it very fast and even just this clip this awesome clip in here will bond it up together arrange it up just one is good and if you can go around with the two of it two will give it more grip than you ever expect of it so once you do that you can see it's quite easy why spend more when you can just do this with just little less than three us dollar you get this done so thank you so much for watching this i'm sunday wale and hope you've learned something for this if you learned please can you give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit on the notification bell for you to be notified when i release awesome video like this on this platform look forward to have you in a subsequent upload